called Sharia law in the USA. Music instrument is not acceptable in Islam. There is no sheikh, there is no imam in Islam. There isn't anyone who has a higher authority than you are. I stopped trying to define punk around the same time I stopped trying to define Islam. They aren't so far removed as you'd think. Both began in tremendous bursts of truth and vitality, but seem to have lost something along the way. Michael Muhammad Knight, the author of the Taqwa Course, a book that in many ways wrote the future of the North American Muslim punk music scene. You come up with the Taqwa Core, it's a piece of fiction, it's a fantasy world to you, and all of a sudden, there are people who read it and it is a calling for them. It was just from one guy writing a book, and then bam, it's like all across the world, people are starting to notice things. Knight's book takes us into a vibrant house of aspiring punk musicians from Mohawks, Sufis, to Indonesian skater boys. We should go out west sometime, get a van, make like an interstate Jamaat. And along the way, we'd round up all the queer alums, drunk imams, punk ayatollahs, masochistic muftis, junkie shakes, retarded mullahs, and gutter mouth malanas we can find. Just load up a van so we can't fit no more, and then have guys hanging off the side like in Raul fucking Pindi. I'd like to dedicate this to all the homosexuals. That is the punkest that it gets. But well, I don't want it, and neither do they want it, trust me. This gentleman! There is a cool Islam. You just have to find it.